you've been with me on this channel for a while, then you know that I've conducted a series of interviews with sales pros. I've done these long form interviews to give you insights, ideas, and techniques from veteran professionals in the world of sales. Now, this clip is a selected question and answer from one of those past interviews. And it's a point that I wanna highlight to help you to gain a new idea or new technique that you can apply to be more successful in sales. If you've watched the whole interview, this will reinforce a key point. If you haven't, then I hope it whets your appetite to go back to the list of videos on my channel and find the full interview and watch it. Enjoy this tip. How do you get a prospect enthusiastic about doing business with you? So they aren't agreeing to a meeting yet, right? In this scenario, you're hitting them up for the first time. They are pre-qualified and you've established that they would be a good fit. How do you get them to be enthusiastic for the meeting? That's a, that's a tough question. Um, you know, I think obviously, you know, the hardest thing is to, um, uh, get someone to connect with you on the phone, especially in the, in the world that we're living in today. Most people are still working out of their home offices. Um, no one's really picking up their phone if they don't know the number on it any longer. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, I rely a lot on email. I rely a lot on um, uh, a technology tool called Calendly, where mm -hmm. I say, hey, I really want to talk to you about this. If you click on this link, um, you know, book a time on my calendar, uh, that's convenient for you. I find that that happens a lot, you know, more than you think, um, or at least more than I thought when I first started using it. I was like, who's really going to click on that link? And um, I would say every week, I probably have an average of, you know, five to eight people that use that link and book time on my calendar. Um, because that's just showing, you know, I'm, I'm respectful of their time, right? Everyone's got things that are, that are going on in their lives. But I think the, the, the biggest thing that I do is when I do have an opportunity to talk to someone, um, I listen. Um, I let them do a lot more talking than I do. I ask lots of questions. Um, I'm really trying to understand uh, where they're coming from mm -hmm. and, and what they're trying to solve. You know, I, I, I put myself again in their position, right? Yeah. When I used to, when I was in the market for buying a car, if a sales guy said, what do we have to do to make a deal today? It was just a giant turnoff for me, right? Because I'm not ready to make that deal today. <laughs> um, what I'm really interested in is, tell me more about the car so I could think about that and, and make a decision. Um, and, and, you know, that's how I buy products in my own life. And I try to, you know, do the similar type thing with, um, with people that I'm trying to sell to. Mm -hmm. 